students welcome to the class in this class we will solve one more example and one way and over the given example is a trial was run to check the effects of different diets positive numbers indicate weight loss and negative number indicates weight gain check if there is an average difference in the weight uh, weight of people following different diets using ANOVA table okay the given table is like this low fat low calorie low protein and low carbohydrate okay data is given low fat data is 89673 low calorie 24351 low protein 35423 low carbohydrate 22-103 this is that given data now our aim is to check whether there is an average difference in the weight of the people by following the diet okay so first thing is to carry out the analysis of variance we need to form the table okay, in previous examples i have explained what is the first step first step is to frame the table we have to write the table as it is given table in this extra two rows what we need to do we need to sum the given values that is the given items for along each column then square them oh, there are the two rows extra we have to calculate and later someone has asked me how to uh, make the sum total t in the uh, finding the correction factor how you took to sum t so sum t is nothing but the sum of t1 t2 t3 t4 that gives us capital t okay we'll do that we'll come to know now the first step is to find the total of each item that given row so low fat when you add 8 plus 9 plus 6 7 plus 3 t1 is 33 okay and t2 t2 is 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 5 plus 1 gives you 15 next is 3 plus 5 plus 4 plus 2 plus 3 so when you add them you will get 17 and then add 2 plus 2 minus 1 0 plus 3 gives you 6 okay when you add these two along this row 33 plus 15 plus 17 plus 6 gives you total that is our t that is 70 now just square this t1 t2 t3 t4 so 33 square 1089 15 square 225 17 square 289 and 6 square it is 36 okay this is the first table next next is to find the squares of all items inside the table all the values how many values are inside here there are four columns each column contains five values okay then four four into five there are total 20 items are here so we have to square each value so that square table is as we do. so when you square these values you will get for the first column eight square is 64 then 9 square 81, 6 square 36, 7 square 49 and 3 square it is 9. The same way for, same way for the calories column, 2 square it is 4, 4 square 16, 3 square 9, 5 square 25 and 1 it is 1. Then 9, 25, 16, 4 and 9. In the last column it is 2 square is 4, 2 square is 4, 1, 0 and 9. Now we need to add them. Sum of squares, sum of squares and sum of these squares. Whatever square we did here, now add them along column wise. So 64 plus 81 plus 36 plus 49 plus 9 
is 239. Then add the second column, you will get 55. Then third column, when you add them, you will get 63. And here, you will get 18. Again, grand total is sum of all these. Okay, that is 239 plus 65 plus 63 plus 18. Okay, so this gives us a grand total. That is 375. This is sum of squares. Now, once you do this, first thing is to set the null hypothesis. So, what is the null hypothesis? Null hypothesis is H0 equal to what you can say H0 is defined as Variances are equal. So, mu1 equal to mu2 equal to mu3. Yeah. Now, correction factor. What is the formula for correction factor? It is t square divided by total number of items. t square. Already we know that what is t in the first table. I said you. This t we are going to use. Okay. 71. The t should be from first table. So it is 71 square divided by total number of items are 20. So 71 square is 5041 whole divided by 20. So we will get 252. Therefore, correction factor is 252. Okay. Once you find correction factor, what is the next step? Next step is to find the SSI. That is sum of squares inside. That is is given by SSI. What is that? This is grand total of sum of squares. That is XIJ square minus correction factor. So, sum of squares of individual items can be calculated using this formula. So, sum of individuals is this part is grand total in the second table. So, grand total is 375 and correction factor is 252. Just now we have received here. Okay. By calculating. So, SSI is equal to 123. Okay, sum of squares of individual items. Now, once you get this, now you can find sum of this sum of the squares between the sample. Okay between the sample or we can call them as treatments that is denoted by SSB so this is equal to summation over i ti square divided by small ni minus correction factor what is this T i square by n i means what? T 1 square by n 1 plus T 2 square by n 2 plus T 3 square by n 3 plus T 4 square by n 2. So there are four types of items are given, diet items. Okay, low calorie, low protein, low carbohydrate like this. So T1 square is again use where you have got these value T1 square here in the first table. Okay. So use those values. So T1 square is 1089. N1 is what number of items in that column, particular column. So it is 5 plus T2 square is 
225. So each column contains 5 values. T3 square is 289 divided by 5. And here it is 36 divided by 5. Minus correction factor 252. If you get confused, write it in one bracket. Yes. Okay. Now, just simplify. When you divide these by 5, we will get 217.8 plus 45 here plus 57.8 plus 7.2 minus 252. Then, SSP is just add and subtract. You will get SSPS 75.80 that is sum of squares between the treatments or samples. Once you get this, now our aim is to find sum of squares within the sample. Therefore, sum of squares within the sample that is SSW is equal to SSI, sum of squares of individual items minus sum of squares between the items. So, SSI is 123 minus it is 75.80. Therefore, SSW is equal to 47.2. So this is sum of squares of squares within the sample. Now, once you find SSB and SSW, now we need to construct the ANOVA table. This is our ANOVA table now. Source of variation, degrees of freedom, sum of squares, mean sum squares and F ratio. And here, between the sum of source, uh, source of variation are between the treatments and within the treatments. Then we need to calculate degrees of freedom. Now, how will uh, you calculate degrees of freedom? Degrees of freedom may, we have denoted by nu1. Nu1 is C minus 1. Now here, C is how many columns? 4 columns. 4 minus 1. So, nu1 is 3. Next year, nu2 is K minus C. K is what? Total number of items. So, 20 minus 4. So, nu1, nu2 is equal to 16. Now, SSI, SSI, we have calculated it as 75.80. And SSW, it is 47.20. Then, MST is what? It is SSI divided by nu1. So, SSI is 75.80 divided by 3. So, MST is equal to, when you divide this by 3, you will get 25.26. And MSE is SSW is equal to, sorry, this is SSB. This is SSB. Now, um, SSW is uh, divided by nu2. SSW is 47.20 divided by 16. So, MSE is equal to mean sum square within the sample is 2.95. Then, F ratio is MST divided by MSE. So, it is 25.26 divided by 2.95. So, F is equal to 8.56. Okay. And here you can write total degrees of freedom is what? 20 minus 1 that is 19. Now, what we have got? We have got F calculated value. So, F 
calculated is equal to 8.56. Now we need to find F tabulation. Okay. So how you are going to find this? We are finding using uh, find this using the F distribution table. Okay. Now this is our F distribution table. Our deg degrees of freedom is what? No, sorry. F is what? F is 3 comma 16 now. Degrees of new 1 comma new 2. Yes. F of new 1 is 3 and new 2 is 16. Horizontally along 3. Here it is 3. Then vertically we move to 16. Here it is 16. Okay. Then this is our value. 3.84. This value. 3.24. So this is 3.24 here. Okay. So Now from table we have got F tabulated value is 3.4. Okay. The table is this value is for 5% significance. Now when you observe these two values. F calculated and F tabulated. F calculated value is greater than F tabulated. Therefore F calculated is greater than F tabulated value. That is 8.56 is greater than 3.24. If so, what you can say? The hypothesis is rejected. Hypothesis is rejected. Means what? There is a significance between The four processes, okay, between the four, there are four items given, four processes. So, there is significance between the given four processes. Okay, this is also very much important example. This has been asked in model question paper also. In the next video, I am going to solve one more important example on one way ANOVA. Then, I will move on to two way ANOVA. Till then, keep practicing. If you have any doubt, do comment in the comment box. If you are not subscribed to my channel, do subscribe and support. Till then, take care. Thank you.